Now let's add an issue type to a classic project. We'll navigate back to the Planet Apps project, go to the Project Settings, and to this Issue Types page. Here you see the issue types that come with the Kanban project template. You also see the workflows, field configurations, and screen schemes associated with each issue type. One of the team's responsibilities is to update the documentation when they make a change to the app. Here we'll create a new issue type for that. So we'll click on Actions, Edit Issue Types. This takes you to the Issue Type Schemes page in JIRA Administration. We'll click Add Issue Type, give it a name, a description. We'll leave it as Standard Issue Type, click Add, and then Save. This returns us to the Planets App project and we now see our document issue type listed in the current scheme. The new document issue type is associated with the software simplified workflow for Project PA, so any new issues created using this issue type in the project will follow this workflow. This is the one we edited earlier. It's also associated with the default field configuration, so this issue type will be available for other projects. And the PA Kanban default screen scheme. So any new issues created using this issue type in this project will use the screens defined in this scheme. Note that you can change the icon shown for an issue type by editing the issue type on the Issue Types JIRA administration page. Now let's test the new issue type. We'll create a new issue. We'll select Document for Issue Type. We don't see the priority field above description because the changes we made earlier were only for the bug issue type. This issue type is using the default screen scheme for all other issues in this project. And that's the end of this lab demo.